I am Lucy Ofori. I work at the Trauma and Specialist Hospital Winneba as an ophthalmic nurse. We keep our eyes healthy by eating foods rich in vitamin A and other nutrients for the general care of the body. Vitamin A rich foods, some which are, are carrots, pawpaw, we have the palm oil, mangoes, and many others. Now, we also have to keep our eyes healthy by avoiding trauma, that is harm to the eye. We also have to visit the eye clinic at least once in a year for a general checkup. So that should there be anything that needs to be attended to, we pick it quickly and on time so that we can help the eye be in good health all the time. We normally see the conjunctivitis, the cataracts, glaucomas, we have the dry eye syndrome, retinopathies both from diabetes and hypertension, ocular trauma and many others that we see at the eye. There are a lot of eye, uh, lifestyles that can lead to eye complications, some of which are when we fight, fighting. People injure the eye. People who do uh, engage themselves in sports, not the handball, the volleyball, and others. And football, hitting the eye, all those can endanger the eye. It, depending on how the degree of the injury or the degree of harm caused, that is, we give medications, some end up at the theater for surgery. And we also give some of them uh, medicated spectacles. That's what I said, according to the degree of injury. Dry eyes are actually as a result of when the tear film, these tears that we call enisio, enisua, yes. When we have the insufficient tear being produced by an individual that can cause by a disease or the tears that are produced are not being utilized well, the inadequacy of it. The tears are supposed to be something that will keep the eyes moist so that the eyeball ball can roll well and the lids can open and close on the eyeball without any feeling of any dryness. So when the tear that is produced is not being used well or the inadequate production causes dry eyes. Yes. Because we have some of the signs and symptoms of dry eyes as the person will feel that there's something on the eye. That is foreign body sensation. Some of the people, they, they tear. The eyes will be tearing plenty. And others, the eyes becomes red. So because of how the differences in the, how people present with it, we have different ways of managing them. We give them eye drops, that's eye medications and ointment, and some of them we provide glasses that will help. And you remember when you asked about the diagnosis that we often get here, I mentioned the dry eye syndrome. These days, because we are using a lot of computers, we are using a lot of screens, people are playing games, sitting behind the games and uh, their computers and their phones. For a long time, they tend to have dry eyes because of the radiation emanating from these devices. So they are taking the uh, tears, that is, the tear film has to be on the eye for a long time. It is just drying them up earlier than normal. So these are the things that are causing the lot of the dry eyes. But others can also come from a disease condition from the eyeball itself. When you are using, let's say, computer or phone, you need to protect the eyes. There are some light rays that is coming from the computer or the phone that destroy the eyes, especially the retina. We have blue light within the digital screens. Those blue lights, you see, um, when you take the spectrum, we have something called spectrum. That spectrum, we have the radio wave, we have the, the infrared, 
then we have the vis visible light visible light is the fourth one but the visible light contains seven colors the seven colors we have how it travels the length that each color travels the blue light and the violet is closer to the ultraviolet rays and because scientists proved that the ultraviolet rays is having effect on the human body and the, and the eye they believe that because the blue and the violet light is also closer to the wavelength and the ultraviolet light the blue light can also cause effect especially the eye the retina so digital screens without protecting your eyes can harm you you sit behind a computer for some people can sit for four or five hours without getting up you have to have regular breaks you take your gaze away from the screen and those of us especially our youngsters who are using the phone continuously even when they are crossing the streets they are looking on the phone we have to advise them to desist from that apart from that all screens we have to get a protective covering for the screen and also you have to get an eyeglasses anti reflective the radiation coming should be blocked from somewhere so that it doesn't get straight into our eyes and some of our children will sit behind the tv television for a very long time especially when they are on vacation and and you see that they they, they have the tend to have these dry eyes say so we have to start protecting our eyes from the antenatal clinic we tell the woman when the baby comes start inculcating these things that is the diet as we already mentioned when your grandmother told you that the palm oil that you you consume it will help your eye to be clear it is true so our vitamin a rich food the milk the palm oil as we mentioned the purple and any food that contains that uh, the color looks like carrots the orange colored fruits and foods they all contain vitamin a so we have to keep this in mind taking these foods and at school the teachers we beg them to help protect the children's eyes those playing with sharps that's the pencil and the protectors and all those that they are using others we have these cases and the kebab sticks injury and all things that come to the eye they all so we have to protect our eyes from this and also as we've mentioned those dry eyes anti-reflective goggles to the artisans they have to get goggles the carpenter the mason the plumber water splashing cement splashing into somebody who is a mason's eye and the carpenter this woods and and the welders the metal rings getting into their eyes we all need to protect our eyes also we have to avoid using unprescribed eye medications someone will say when i went to the hospital this is what they gave me so you to use it no we have different complaints so all those even those medication can bring about dry eye syndrome because the chemicals in it in them can dry out the uh, amount of tears if it is not the appropriately that was prescribed for you so all of us we should protect our eyes and eat healthy thank you, thank you.